everybody. My name is Brian. I like taking pictures. I'm back again with another video. All right, so this week we're going to be recreating something new. This week we're doing famous paintings. Just to preface, I know nothing about paintings, so to the two people watching this that do, I apologize in advance. Either way, I think this is going to be a fun one, so let's get right into it. All right, so first up, we're doing the Mona Lisa by Da Vinci. Obviously, we had to do this one. If you think famous paintings, you got to think of the Mona Lisa. Also, I did get a suggestion in the comments of my last video to do this painting, so I had to follow through. What makes this painting the most famous painting? I don't even know. If anybody knows why, let me know. Not that it's bad, like it's a cool painting, but I don't know. I don't think any of the pictures that I'm going to make are going to be easy this week. For this one, I definitely don't have any clothes anything like this, so I'm going to have to try and find something that I can make work. Also, as for the background, there's really nowhere around here that looks like that. I think I'm actually just going to end up using this old picture I have that has somewhat similar colors and then just compositing myself onto that background. I've also been doing some more research on how to get some accurate paint textures in Photoshop. So I really wanna go hard this week because my last recreation video was straight up trash. All those pictures were garbage. So I really need to raise the bar on this video. So let's give it a shot. All right, so here's our setup for Mona Lisa. We just have one light over here trying to match the lighting and the painting as best we can. Uh, it's gonna be sitting in this chair over here, staring into that bright light. And then over here, Got the camera. Okay, so like I was saying, most of the work here is gonna be done in Photoshop, so all I'm really worried about is getting the pose and the facial expression as accurate as I can. Um, all the colors and everything, the background, they're gonna be changed later, so just don't even pay attention to those right now. All right, let's get to it. All right, we're gonna try and take these Mona Lisa pictures now. I'm wearing my mom's shirt on top of my undershirt because it was the only thing even remotely similar that I could find. I might try and take some pictures with the undershirt and some without it so I can just get the sleeves and not this part up here. Uh, I'm not too sure if it'll work or not, but I'm gonna try. Also, obviously I'm using a different picture for the background. I'm just gonna cut myself out of this. It should be an easy removal. Uh, it's pretty nice that I have gray paint on the walls. It makes it a lot easier. All right, let's give them a shot. I really look ridiculous right now. The lighting's okay. The pose isn't perfect. My head is a bit too straight and my hand placement isn't that good either. Just give it a few more tries. <laughs> yeah, now my head isn't straight enough and my hands are a bit too high this time. But that was definitely not good. Now I'm gonna have to try again. Shit. I was not ready for that one. I forgot to take off my glasses. <laughs> mm. Man. Great. It's the best one so far, certainly not perfect though. All right, I'm gonna try and do these same ones again, but without the undershirt, just so I can get this part up here without the shirt. And then the plan is to add in the parts with the sleeves on top of this. That was all right, I think I can do better though. All right, I think I can make this work with what I have. So let's move on to the next one. All right, next up, we're gonna be doing this Van Gogh self-portrait. I picked this one just because it's a really unique style of how it's all wavy. I don't really know what that technique is called, so I'm sorry to all the art people watching this. Yeah, I think this one is going to be one of the more challenging ones this week, mainly because of the unique texture. And of course, like always, I don't have any clothes that look like these, and I don't look like him. But I'm just going to try and do the best with what I have, so let's give it a shot. Alright, now we're going to be doing the Van Gogh self-portrait. It's basically the exact same setup, except now the light is just on the other side. And obviously I'm wearing a different outfit. Once again, it's not exactly what he's wearing in this uh, in this painting, but it's basically the closest that I can get with what I have, so I just gotta work with that. But let's see how we do. Not bad, I think my head has turned a bit too far though. Actually, now it's too straight. I think the first one is actually better. But I'm gonna try again, try and go somewhere in the middle. Yeah, I think I can work with that. It's not perfect. But I think it should look alright once it's edited, so let's move on to the next one. All right, the last painting we're gonna recreate today is Girl with a Pearl Earring by Vermeer. I picked this one for a couple reasons. First of all, being that it's pretty simple, it's just a person, there's nothing in the background. So all I really have to focus on is just the costume, the lighting, and the posing. It doesn't have the crazy texture that that Van Gogh painting had. And also, I just thought it looked pretty cool. All right, so let's get into it. All right, here's a setup for Girl with the Pearl Earring. So we got a black backdrop hanging up here. We got one light over here. I have a t-shirt tied around my head to try and look like whatever she has on her head. Yeah, we got the camera over there. Like the other ones, gonna be a lot of work in post, so don't really pay attention to how ridiculous this looks and how the colors aren't correct and all that. Once again, we're just trying to get the pose and the lighting perfect here, so 
Let's give it a shot. It's not bad. I didn't realize she has her mouth open though, so I didn't do that. So, gotta retake it there. Um, also, my head is tilted the wrong direction. I'm turning a bit too far towards the camera in that one. But I'm not tilted enough. That was not bad. I think I can make that one work. All right, and we're back. Pictures are all edited. It's time to take a look. All right, so first up, we're looking at the Mona Lisa. Here's the painting, and here's my picture. All right, so I think I succeeded in some areas and failed in some others here. I think I did manage to get it to look like an actual painting here. However, there are still a lot of major differences between mine and the actual one. First, we can look at the clothes. So yeah, I really couldn't find anything that looked exactly like that. I ended up wearing my mom's shirt on top of one of my shirts and then I was able to just use the arms from when I was wearing the undershirt. And I feel like that looked okay. I did change my hair color to match. I changed the colors of everything really to match more and I think the colors did end up looking pretty good. Obviously the background isn't the same, but it still has a similar vibe, similar colors in its nature. It doesn't have a river running through the back, which is the biggest difference, but I really don't know anywhere that I could have taken something that actually looks like the painting here. So I did the best with what I had. I thought about trying to make my hair longer in Photoshop, but I really couldn't find a way to do it without it looking pretty terrible. Also, as for the texture, it's not exactly the same either. It does look like a painting, but not exactly like the Mona Lisa. Um, mine has a lot more like big lines and streaks. Whereas the actual one is sort of just a lot of really tiny cracks. And finally for the pose, it's decent, not great. My body and my hands aren't really positioned perfectly. My face is okay, but it's not the exact expression. Overall, I'm okay with this one, it's not too bad. So let's move on to the next one. All right, next up, we're looking at the Van Gogh self-portrait. Here's the painting and here's my recreation. Hey, this one seemed to give me the most trouble of the three, specifically just because of the swirly textures and everything. I did try and recreate that effect, but it didn't turn out exactly the same. His is sort of more wavy, where mine is a bit more swirly. It also seems like he got a lot more detailed with the brushing on his face and the body as opposed to the background where mine is kind of around the same level throughout. I did change the color of my hair and my eyes and my clothes to try and match. I feel like the colors all do look pretty good here. I feel like the background of mine is okay, even though it's clearly, it's not the same, but I don't think it looks bad. But what I do think looks bad is all the textures on me. I feel like this one is the one that looks the least like a painting out of the three that I did for this video. As for the posing, he's a bit more hunched over than I am here. Also, his face looks kind of disappointed, more so than mine does. Overall, I'm not too happy with this one, but it's not too bad either, so it's just okay. All right, let's move on to the last one. All right, so the last painting we did was Girl with the Pearl Earring. So here's the painting and here's my recreation. So this was probably the most difficult one to take. When I was taking these, I did not have high expectations. I thought this would be one of the worst, but this actually ended up being my favorite of the three. I somehow managed to make wearing two hoodies and a t-shirt on my head look somewhat like what she's wearing there. Changing all the colors in Photoshop worked pretty well. Also, I added in that earring in Photoshop also. Changed the color of my eyes to match hers. Paint textures here don't exactly match the original, but I feel like this is the one of the three that I made that looks the most like a painting. As for the mistakes, the colors aren't exactly perfect and neither is the lighting. You can really see the highlights and the shadows on her clothes more than you see on mine. Mine are more of like a solid color, especially in the blue and the orangey yellow on the jacket. I mean, the lighting is pretty decent. It's definitely the same angle of light. You can even see the same catch light in her eye as mine. You can kind of see the shadow more on the near side in the actual painting, especially on that blue part of the thing on her head and the side of her face. You can see the shadow on my face, but not as much on the, the head wear. As for the pose, I think her head is tilted a tiny bit more down than mine is. I was really pushing my neck to the limits there, just trying to bend all the way around. Also, we just have different shaped faces. Her face is a bit more round than mine is. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this one. This is my favorite of the three, like I said. Down in the comments, let me know what you think of this one and the other ones. All right, well, that's gonna do it for the video, guys. Thank you for watching. I appreciate all the support. Let me know if there's anything you want me to recreate. Could be an album cover, could be a movie poster, another painting, could be anything, because I'm gonna be making more videos doing all of those things. Also, if there's anything else you want me to make, feel free to let me know. All right, well, once again, thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that. Show this video to every single person that you know and every single person that you meet in the future. Hope you're all doing well, and I'll see you in the next one.